Hey, today let's talk about Irix Cine Lens. Let's go! I'm helping today also a good friend of mine, Joe, to shoot his little recording studio ad. The Irix Lens set has 11, 15, 45, and 150 mm. It has EF or PL mount. <laughs> the lens hood design I feel is very questionable. If you pick it up the wrong way, you will drop your lens. The lens cap also falls off very easily. It also might scratch your lens. So probably if I own this lens set, the first thing I'm going to do is extra order some proper lens caps. But unfortunately, focal lengths such as 18, 25 and 100 are still missing. For high-end production, I probably won't consider them because I do need a complete lens set and I don't like to mix and match different lenses. It's especially annoying in post while color correcting. But because these focal lengths are very special, you do get some really interesting special angles. The look of these lenses remind me more of a softer film look instead of like a crystal sharp look like Ari MP lens sets for advertisements. Whoa, that's close. <laughs> <laughs> the build quality is not bad, it's metal housing. The 11mm is really suitable for gimbal work. It can easily capture the entire environment while shooting a small room. Especially also helpful since if I shoot slow-mo on the red, it will crop in, so having this extra wide really helps. Unfortunately, it's not easy to attach any filters on this lens. Also, it's not quite perfect suitable for low-light shooting scenario. 15mm. Also very awesome for gimbal work. Having wide lenses on your gimbal while shooting makes everything more dynamic. What did surprise me though is usually cine lens sets are designed in a way that all of their focal lenses are are approximately the same weight and size. But with this one, it's not. When I switch from 11 to 15, I have to rebalance on the gimbal, and it's not just front and back, it's also the roll axis left to right. Then the 45mm, really amazing for shooting handheld, close-ups. Its T-stop is also good, it's around T1.5. Then lastly to my most favorite focal length, 150mm. This one can also shoot macro, so it's amazing to get out some details. This is also a very easy way to make your shots look like product or advertisement level shots because it can really make certain elements of your product stand out. And of course as compared with DZO film, it is a cine lens set that is almost in the same price range like the Irix one. So DZO film does have a more complete lens package, although it doesn't have really good wide lenses. So if you're shooting a lot of gimbal work, you are missing the focal length such as 11, 15. On the Irix side, the price is a little bit lower, but you do have to consider to maybe additionally purchase a 25 or 80 mil from the Canon Cine lens set. But because it has these special focal lenses that make your style really pop out. After the shoot, I was very pleased with this lens set. It really suits my style of shooting, high-end production. I would rather probably rent lenses such as RMPs or CP lenses. And if it's a smaller company, production house, then I think this Cine lens set is pretty great to have. I also heard Irix will soon come out with some new focal lenses, so that might make this whole package complete. Or if you go for the DZO film, do make sure that maybe also consider the Irix 11 and 15 so you can actually have that focal length for some gimbal works. No matter what, it's all down to your style, so which one do you like? Let me know in the comments below.